Hey, good evening, everyone. This is going to be our next hockey video, a preview to the Pittsburgh Penguins season as the Penguins look to have another playoff-bound season. Obviously, this team is usually more built through their NHL roster rather than having good prospects since they always trade to keep competitive and obviously have found success doing that. Plus, they have Sidney Crosby, who is just a different breed when he's healthy, obviously, and fully back, so you're going to have him... And you have um, also Malkin, who's a different breed when he's healthy, and he's actually able to play. So you got two very good players that are out to start the season for Pittsburgh. Also, before I get into it, please just subscribe if you enjoy the content down below or at the end on the widget up above. But you do have guys that they were able to bring in, like Jeff Carter, who can fill in for one of those guys. During their absence, you are going to need either Teddy Bluger or Evan Rodriguez to step up, though because you're going to need someone to kind of supplant themselves as that second line um, center that isn't even doesn't have to be all that sexy, just kind of has to do his job. So one of those guys is going to have to step up. I don't think there's a question if Jeff Carter will step up, because he can play second line center if he has to. It's just now he's going to be on your first line. So you're going to need one of those other guys to pick him up. But something that having those guys out will allow a player to probably make the team is Drew O'Connor, who I had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit in the AHL, covering and watching the Phantoms a lot last year, excuse me, and he look, he's a pretty big boy um, that honestly um, plays with a pretty good pace and knows how to get to the net and is a pretty hard-nosed player, so I think you got some stuff there. They obviously have Samuel Pooling, who they're still waiting to develop, and then the two guys that are the most interesting to watch when it comes to your Pinksburg's prospect, uh, prospect pool Penguins fans, is the two goalies, Callie Klang, who plays very athletic and is a fabulous scrambler, makes any type looking desperation saves, almost like you would see Tim Thomas dive across in his career at times. Then you got Joel Bloomquist, who's the more technically sound guy, a uh, very mobile and has a great hockey sense that every scouting report I read says he's definitely ready to play in a bigger league than the Finnish two league out there. They also got Philippe Hollander, who of course was originally the Pens property and then was part of that um, trade with the with the McCann trade, but now he's obviously with the Pens and plays a pretty good two-way game. The thing with the Pens is they don't have anybody in their forward court down below that you think is going to be that absolute splash next uh, Jake Gensel, if you will, type player, but that's okay because you'll be able to have these guys come in, play well with other guys, and play a good two-way game like Poulin plays, play a good two-way game like Hollander plays, and establish a good defensive play when you already have the captain and other guys of the world anyway once those guys come up. And then you seem to have a goalie of the future in either Callie Klang or Joel Bloomquist, whoever's able to develop over time. So they definitely picked it well with goaltending. Hexy's not going to have to worry about that in Pittsburgh like he had to in Philadelphia to stack up on goaltenders in the minors because they already have two really good guys there. So that's a nice foundation to have, plus the Drew O'Connor in the minors. But again, this team's always successful from the pro team, which is still has the Brian Rush of the world who always seems to turn his game up when people are out. So I would look and probably be surprised if he doesn't do that while people are out. So I think him with Jeff Carter on a line, maybe Dayton Heinen can have his best season. Uh, with the Pittsburgh Penguins with you guys out there, and that would help you guys out. Zucker obviously has a little bit more in his stick than he showed, so if he has a very good season like he did for the Wild at one time, that would be huge to fill in for the gap of Crosby and Malkin coming out. This is just a Pittsburgh Penguins team, even with those two key injuries to start the season, and not having Jake Gensel, obviously. Um, it, it's a team that I still will never count out until they miss the playoffs, because Casey DeSmith looks like a hell of a backup goaltender. He established himself last year, and Tristan Yari seems like he's a good enough starting goaltender to an actual really good starting goaltender, depending on the waves and valleys he goes through. But you also have those two very good developing goalies down there, and Yari plus them could probably get you somebody really good too if the Penguins wanted to go with that route in the future to stay competitive. But that's a different story for a different time. I think this team is in a good foundation as long as Crosby and Malkin come back at a good point for their team to still be in good competitiveness because they also have a very big boy down below, Redeem Sahorna, who was very fun to watch in the AHL as well. He's great at getting in front of the net, 
really knows how to establish himself in front of the net and become a net front presence. So they have some guys that you can pick from from the minors. They're not going to be probably as sexy as Gensel burst onto the scene. But also, remember, Jay Gensel wasn't expected to burst onto the scene that much. So maybe somebody like a Zahorna or somebody like an O'Connor will have that big of an impact. But I think it obviously will be a little bit struggling to see how they pick up the offense and who steps up other than the Russ and the Zookers and the Kapanens you expect to step up, who else steps up, plus Carter at center, as I aforementioned, in order to take the big role and be the big offensive player while Crosby and Malkin are both out since obviously one of the other always steps up when either is out. Now they're both out. Who's going to be able to step up to pick up the slack? But again, this team still has a good enough team. They got Dumoulin and obviously Latang. They got Pedersen and Marino. You got Matheson, who seemed to reestablish his game with the Penguins out there. And then you got Chad Ruweedle, who's a good enough defenseman as a sixth defenseman. Plus Mark Friedman, who's a guy that it seems like they're starting to develop into a fairly just solid average 6-7 defenseman out there in Pittsburgh after getting him from the Philadelphia Flyers. So I think this team, again is set up to make a playoff push for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They always find a will and a way, it seems, to find a way to stay competitive, even if it is hurting your prospect pool. Is it getting rid of a pool and getting rid of a Hollander, getting rid of a Bros, getting rid of a Laguerre, even trading somebody like like those guys to help? That's what they always seem to do. Or one of their goalies to get a big goalie with Yari, if, say, Yari's not doing good enough and is just doing solid, and they want to try to get a bigger name if they're on the market. Pittsburgh's a team that always seems to do that. So until this team doesn't make the playoffs, I'm never going to declare that before a season. I don't think they're going to make it again, because last season, obviously, on Pirlo's show, we did talk about that, and Pittsburgh still found the will and a way to make it. So I think this team is still set to make it this year and then have maybe some surprise guys like the come up and like the Zahornas and the O'Connors that kind of establish themselves as NHLers, maybe not to the level of Gensel, like I said, but still be good productive players for your team and come into that lineup and fit in nicely. So I think this team is still a playoff team. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a great, safe, and pleasant day. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the widget up above. This has been a Pittsburgh Penguins season preview. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and enjoy the season, Penguins fans. Peace.